Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw the male body. Okay, nothing but Sharpies today. That way you can see a little bit better. So basically, we're just going to do basics. As we do this, we're going to progress into more detailed stuff. But for now, we're just going to do basics. So if you watched my other video about dynamic poses, it's pretty much going to build off that and work on tubes. That's the best way to say it, tubes. Because we're going to work with, with you know, where the body's going to be. And and the tubes are gonna build off of it. So again, I'm just kind of throwing off real fast, just a quick sketch of what it could possibly be, where it could go. So I just kind of play around with with uh, the positioning, or not positioning, the, the, uh, the, the size, and then we build off of that. So traditional anatomy says that your head uh, is what you wanna measure with. And so they say it's like what? It's like six heads high. And so halfway is right about there. So that's one, two. We'll say that's one, two, three. There's four, five, and six. And that's just a guess. Now remember, um, it's not always going to be this way. It, it could be six and a half. It could be seven. But that's just a rough idea of how to measure uh, the, the amount of of spacing that you're gonna need. And sometimes that's why you see people do stuff like this. They're looking at their picture by holding something up because they're gauging like the size. So I'm gonna put my thumb right there, the tip there, my thumb right there at the edge of the, the five, I'm sorry, the, the edge of the head. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. And see how it all works out to about the same size. That's kind of why people hold up their pencil and look like that and measure stuff, you know? So it's like, okay, there's that, there's that. There's that, and I'm just kind of looking through the camera to see if I'm measuring right. So there's the head, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And that's kind of the rough idea. So remember, this is not set in stone. Your people are gonna be different heights. They're gonna be uh, in the head. Again, this is if you get the head right. If you draw your head a perfect circle like this, well, that's a different story. You know, that's gonna be different if you try to measure it all the way down. So remember, this is just a rough guess of what you wanna do with your anatomy. That's how high you're gonna draw your male body or female body too. But for now, we're just talking about the male body. So um, let's get back over here. So something else to think about too is while you're doing this, I always play around with the chest. That's where I start. I know that doesn't look like a chest, but let's make him facing that way. So. Think of it like this is, I used to hear like a barrel, but a barrel to me is a little too big. So there's the chest. If he's gonna be standing here like this, there's his middle, there's one leg, the other. So think of a chest like this, there's the side like that. Does that make more sense? So there's his stomach, there's his pelvis. So I'll, I'll go back with the Sharpie and show the black Sharpie and show you what I'm talking about. So. When I do the chest, I'm gonna draw some arms down like this. Okay, so when I do the chest, we'll go ahead and just draw some hands just so you see the full anatomy. And so, see also how he's kind of turned this way, okay? So when I say I do the chest, let me grab another Sharpie here. I'm gonna do it with the green. That'll, that'll stand out too, so we're not going straight to black. So. Um, when I say I do the chest, I kind of do this whole top part right there, and that's kind of why I do that. Just kind of saying, okay, so there's there's his armpit. It's off to the side like this, and it kind of goes over like this. His spine is back here. We're gonna draw his waist like this, and again, there's the front. There's the front and the spine is in the back. So you see what I'm saying? That's how I kind of just like guess right there and then I go around to, there's the front, where the edges would be. Okay? So in doing so, see there's the back of his shoulder, but you can't see that because of his arm. So, so when I'm doing stuff like this, you know, I'm also imagining where what's in front and what's in back. So now I can come in, his, his trapezius is gonna be up here, his little clavicles right there, it's gonna go over to his shoulder, 
there's his arm coming into his muscle like this. So you can't see back there, but we can see the front over here. So we're gonna give him a big strong peck, bring it in. There's his stomach. There's his waist coming in like that. I'm gonna draw his hip like that. So you see what I'm saying? You're not, you're not worried about uh, the exact detail. You're just kind of playing around with the, the freedom you gave yourself with that sketch. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and draw the other shoulder over here. There's his arm. So you gotta remember, you, you can sketch out what goes behind, but in the end, you're only drawing what you can see um, in front of it. So see how I'm saying how I've got him kind of tilted to the side here? So that being said, you just gotta remember your shapes, your, your, your uh, cylinders, you know? That's what I'm saying. So for the first cylinder, like for his chest, that's where I always start. People like to draw, start with the head, but I don't like that. I like drawing the cylinder because I also base it on the position I'm putting him in. So I've talked about this in my dynamic poses too, that when I have them hunched over like this in a fighting pose, something like that, see, I draw the chest first so I can see, okay, well, the back of his shoulders are gonna be like this. And so now I can draw the head over in front of him. And that will uh, determine how much of a crunch he's got in his waist and where I can go from there. So if I were to just draw the head first, like if I were just to do this and then try to draw underneath, I could, I could still do it because I've done this so many times before, I know what, what is what's gonna go but the problem is it's it's for me it's easier to draw the 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 chest but you know what maybe it's not for you maybe you could do from the head first because that didn't come out too bad now that I'm looking at it it's, it's not a horrible sketch you know but it's uh it's it's better for me with the chest because it kind of it places it places where it's gonna go for me so again Basically, you're drawing your circles or your, your tubes and you determine what's gonna happen um, and what tubes you're gonna have to put. Also, for me, it's a lot of gesture drawing, you know? So, just drawing, uh, you know, this guy standing here like this. It's a gesture of, okay, so if he's gonna do this, you know, this is the anatomy, and that's where it's gonna go. I have to think about, you know, the, the, the placement of, of all these parts. But again, quick gesture. For me, quick gesture. But I'm still, if you notice, I'm still placing it with the barrel. You know, I'm still kind of drawing the barrel crunched, you know. Then his pelvis is right here. Then here's the cylinder for his leg. So it's still gesture drawing and it's still using the, the, uh, the barrels, the, uh, Tubes, sorry, I kept saying barrels, but it's tubes. A long time ago when I when I learned how to draw, like the books I would check out, it 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 started with barrel drawing for some reason. So it always say start off, well, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's kind of a barrel, right? Like his chest. So we're gonna draw an old barrel like that. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, I see it, I see it. And then you're gonna build off of that. Okay, I guess that is a barrel. I, I just think of it as a tube. So, so that being said, let's draw something real quick. Let's, how about we just draw just a normal standing pose just facing right at you, okay? So I'm gonna draw the barrel. There's the head. And now that I know about those, those uh, placements, positions, and size, I can build all the way down. But look how he's kind of sideways like that too. I kind of like that, kind of, uh, you know, at, at, a, at a funny angle. And also something to think about too is weight distribution. So if this shoulder is up, then that means your hip is kind of at an angle like that and your weight is on this leg. And so we're gonna try to bring the weight down here like this, bring this down over here. And again, I'm just kind of guessing there's one, two, three, with the hip right about there. One, two, three, and there's the bottom of the foot, okay? 
Again, see, I just kind of did that real quick and look, I was even wrong right there, but we're gonna compensate for that. So, now that I did the barrel, right, and at an angle, we're just gonna give him just a, stick his hands out. Come in here, do this, put all the weight on this leg. I'm gonna put his crotch right about there. So that means we're gonna give him underwear. I'm gonna give him something. And normally it's okay to draw nudes, but for YouTube, I'm keeping it, keeping it clean. Okay, stick this leg out because the weight's over here on this one, so we don't have to worry about any weight distribution on this leg. And then I can do this angle, this foot at an angle over here a little bit too. All right, so there we go. And let's just, let's just stick this hand out. Something like that. Again, see how I'm just kind of just throwing the quick, quick gesture. I'm not worrying about too much about detail. Okay. So that being said, see how quickly I just drew the male body with a few uh, simple shapes. Now, um, you know, this is a typical male model too. I mean, like muscular and, and we got the wide chest and all that stuff, but not everybody's like this. And eventually we're gonna, we're gonna work on drawing an average body. This is just superhero, you know, strong shoulders like that. And uh, eventually we're gonna play around with um, drawing an average person, you know, cause I don't look like this. I'm sure you don't look like this, but this is what we draw for superheroes and characters and things like that. So eventually we're gonna we're gonna make it a little different. So so now that we're doing this and we're playing with that barrel, we can start to play around with. Okay, there's the ears. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a quick head, something like that. His neck has got the strong trapezius uh, um, traps, I guess. His clavicle, if your skeletal musculature is uh, on target, is gonna be right about there. So you can do something like this and you can draw his muscles as you come in and bring it out like that. And also it depends on how built, you know, how, how muscular your, your model is, you know? I mean, he may not be this muscular, but this is very, very Superman, you know? And so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna draw his pecs. And we'll go ahead and connect them right there. And um, let's see, his rib cage is gonna be kind of something like this coming out. And his uh, uh, waist is something like this. Gonna come in here for the rib cage, or actually it's not even the rib cage, those are muscles. His rib cage is just right here. So those are just pure muscles that I'm drawing now. So I can bring his arm in like this, and that's basically the muscle, the way it turns over, and uh, reconnect it to the forearm like that. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a, a, a crease in the elbow right there. So same thing here, I'm gonna bring it down, come in, other side, to the forearm, or the wrist, I guess. And uh, we'll just do a quick. And again, I'm just kind of just drawing. Again, I'm not worried about detail. I'm just kind of showing you how, uh, so see, I'm not even gonna worry about the fingers. I'm just gonna do something like this, just to, just to show, look how big that hand is. Look at that, that's ridiculous <laughs> compared to the rest of it. But again, I'm not worried about that. I'm just showing you anatomy, okay? So his, his shorts are like this. I'm gonna bring him down here. We're gonna give him Superman boxer shorts, something like that. So I can draw his leg, old muscular leg like that. He's got a knee. Kind of something like this. Do the ankle. And then the foot, we'll work on foot. There's, there's tutorials for feet, but it's about uh, what positioning you're in and what you can see, like where it's facing. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this other one over here like this. Again, we're gonna add just a little bit of a, a knee, something like that. All right, calf. 
to the top of the foot and I got this one facing out that way. So here we go. Again, I'm not too worried about that stuff. I'm just showing you how to build off of tubes, sizing, and sketch. Gesture sketching. Gesture sketching, I guess, is what we really need to work on or just what I want you to, to play with. So, okay, so that's that's basically now to be just start working on that and we'll we'll build off of this, okay? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video. Thank you.